Hi guys and welcome back to Coil Life. So today I've got an RDA to show you guys. This one is the NADA RDA from Tiger Tech and Vapen Fagan out of the US. Um, it's a dual coil postless deck design. Plenty, plenty of airflow. Um, this has been out for a while. I did pick it up um, uh, a few months back I, I I meant to review it but other things just kept coming in and um, I, I kind of put this back to, to the back of the pile um, it is a side and bottom airflow RDA <coughs> 25 mil diameter um, I'm normally not one to go for bottom airflow RDAs I personally I, I don't like them. Um, I know they're supposed to give you better flavor. I think, in my opinion, that's a load of um, you know what. But this one, I've been messing around with it and trying to get it to, to work right for me. Um, and I think I have hit the sweet spot with the coils that I've got in it. Uh, which, before I go into any more details, will drop down and have an up close and personal tour around the NADA RDA. Okay guys, so here we are with the NADA RDA from Tiger Tech and Vapen Fagan in the US. And NADA stands for Not Another Dripping Atomizer. <laughs> A little bit of comedy there I suppose. On that side you've got Tiger Tech. On there you've got NADA, made in China, designed by Vapen Fagan, manufactured by Tiger Tech. On there you do have Tiger Tech again. On this side then you do have some links, you've got your scratch and check authenticity. If we open up the box itself, uh, have a look on the inside, we do get the RDA itself. You do get a frosted narrow bore drip tip, and then underneath we do get a bag of goodies. So in that bag you got a tri tool, you've got your 510 drip tip adapter, you've got various different seals and screws, you've got a gold plated squonk pin as well should you wish to use it, and you've got some of these. Let me if I just empty that out in there and just show you a couple of bits in here that we're gonna need is these little screws here. They come in very handy and very important for your airflow. So you've got these different screws there. I will show you those in one second. We'll have a closer look around the RDA itself. So the RDA itself, it is a 25 mil diameter RDA. You do have at the top you've got this sort of knurled almost tired tread effect 810 drip tip and you can also use the narrower frosted drip tip if you wish. On the top of the top cap then you can see there not another dripping atomizer on the top you've got these big chunky knurled bits at the top to move your airflow. You can see on either side you do have those four slots and you can close off each individual one. So you see that through there. If we close off one we still have three open. If we close off two and we've got the two open either side and then if we close down three you've got the one open either side whatever you do on one side is exactly the same on the other if we pop that out you can see how it works and then if we pop off that barrel have a closer look and you can see we do have nada engraved on the top 
the same on the other side. Pop that back in there. So you don't have a single coil top or side airflow, should I say, available on this RDA. Have a look around then the build deck on the bottom. You've got NADA RDA, Raven Fagan, Tiger Tech, designed by Raven Fagan. Big gold plated 510 pin there. Top caps held on by those two O rings. Nice to see two O rings there, nice resistance on that. You've got then your bottom airflow on either side. They come up through those two channels there. You've got this postless build deck, almost um, very identical to a lot of the other postless build decks you've got going on. Then if you have a look at those screws that I told you about before, you've got... Let me pop that in. You can narrow down this bottom airflow pop that one in just like that, grab your little screwdriver and just screw that down so then you can reduce the amount of air coming through the bottom but you've also got a screws that will completely shut that off so if I find that one for you, so we pop that screw in there, grab our little screwdriver, And you can see you can either reduce down the airflow or shut it completely off. You do have a few different screws there to choose from. You've got another one which will reduce it down so much. So you get three different sets of screws to choose from to reduce that airflow should you wish. And you can also see there at the bottom the 510 pin where that comes through, so your squonk pin is just there so that's where your juice would come up so what we'll do is we'll pop a couple of coils in here and I'll show you how to position your coils and wick this okay so I am going to use a set of fuse claptons I've spaced them out just a little bit because I think they sit a little bit better in this RDA spaced just like so um, on this I have used this reducer just to reduce down that airflow just a little bit for the way I like to vape it. Um, you do get the Allen key grub screws pre-installed but it also does come with a spare set of Allen key grub screws and a set of flathead screws as well which is a nice added feature so you do get quite a lot for your money in this kit. So what I need to do now is just pop this other coil in here so I just place it in just like so and just get it seated roughly the right height take our allen key and just tighten those screws down So then once you've got your coils positioned the way you want it, you can get them going all nice and evenly. So there we go, I just want to raise this one up just a little bit if I can. There we go, that should be alright. Turn this one on and then we don't even really need to give these a pulse because with space coils they will glow all nice and evenly. But there you see both coils glowing together nicely. Just perfect. Ready now 
let them cool down, put a bit of cotton in. You've got these little channels in here just to sit your cotton in, so we'll do that now. Okay, so we'll feed the cotton just through our coil just like so. Grab the end and give that a little bit of a pull through. There we go, as easy as that. Okay, we'll grab our other end and pop that one through just like so. Grab that end, give that a pull through as well. That's it. So there we've got our cotton in there. So we just need to trim that off, comb up the ends, and then pop it down into those little channels. So there we go, we've got our cotton all thinned out, nice, just ready, just to comb in gently down into those wicking channels. I haven't got the swamp pin installed in this device at the moment, so we're just going to paint our coils and hope for the best. Generally I'm not normally one for bottom airflow RDAs just because there's always that uh, that risk that it's going to have the juice leak into the airflow channels and then out the airflow slots at the bottom. But there we go, we're ready to put a little bit of juice on there now. Uh, what juice shall we put in this one? Okay, so we're going to go for a little bit of Cactus Jackie in this one, just because it's absolutely awesome juice. Pop that on. Just paint the juice onto the cotton. Don't want it to leak down the airflow on this one. Okay, that's ready then to have a little vape. Okay guys, so that was the up close and personal tour around the NADA RDA. So as I was saying I, at the start, um, I have had to play around a little bit with the build and the airflow etc to try and get what works for me. As I was finding, to be honest with you, the flavour was a bit lacking out of it. Um, now I've got this um, a 0 0.09 ohm dual coil build in there, that's those fuse claptons you saw me pop in, um, and I have set this to 94 watts, that's I think the power that is needed to get the flavour to where I want it, the flavour comes through at those kind of wattages, but personally I don't really tend to vape over say 65 75 watts that's sort of my maximum range and um, with this um, with all the different airflow options popping in those little reducers as well and even cutting off that bottom airflow completely or opening up the bottom airflow shutting off the side airflow completely and um, I, I just found at lower wattages this RDA doesn't really want to give much flavor you've got to bump up that power to get the flavor out of it uh, which is not really where I'd like to vape personally it's it's a bit too warm of a vape for me um, aesthetically it's not the ugliest RDA but it's not certainly not the prettiest RDA um, I like the way you've got you get the 510 uh, drip tip adapter you also get a narrower um, 810 fitment uh, drip tip in there, the frosted one, even though it doesn't really go with the RDA itself, but that's that's another thing. Um, all the spares, you get your spare O-ring sets, you get um, the grub screws, Allen key grub screws, a spare set of those, and you also get your uh, flathead screws. Um, big bonus with all the, the little added accessories you get in the box, your tri-tool as well. Um, Overall, uh, I mean these when they when they were brand brand spanking new, they were going for about thirty dollars um, there thereabouts. I think the price may have dropped a little bit um, in the the last few weeks, but uh, it's certainly something that I wouldn't go out of my way to buy again. Um, I thought Vapen Fagan, he seems like a nice guy, I've seen some of his reviews, um, I thought 
considering it was a collaborate collaboration between himself and Tiger Tech, that uh, it might have been something a little bit special. Unfortunately, it wasn't, um, and that's nothing against Tiger Tech, nothing against Vape and Fagan. It's just my personal opinion that um, this RDA for me does not cut it. Flavor-wise, you've got to bump up your wattage, and then you're just going to drain your battery so quick. For people who like to vape at higher wattages, in that respect, then this RDA might be something that you guys would be interested in. Um, as the, the flavor, don't get me wrong, it's at lower wattages, it's just muted, it's just not there. At the higher wattages, it, it does give pretty decent flavor. So higher wattage vapors, this is one that would appeal to you. Um, it's just not where I like to vape personally. Um, but in saying that, as always, if you want to get your hands on one of these, I'll pop a couple of links in the description below as to where you can get your hands on them. Uh, but from me and the Nada from Tiger Tech and Vaping Fagan, that's all we've got time for. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Uh, we'll catch you again soon.